y'all. Welcome in. It's a haul, y'all. Yep, went to Pop Shelf and a couple of other places. So I have got goodies to show you. I'm actually not going to show you what's in this bag yet because that's some of the really fun goodies that I got. Um, first, I want to tell you, I went to a place that's called Second Time Around. Um, it's a local place. It's in Tacoa, Georgia. Uh, they used to just be like mostly a thrift store and have like seconds and like dented cans and stuff. They also used to have, they have another location that has auctions and stuff too. But I go there, oh pardon me while I bent over, for the thrifty stuff. This is not everything. I actually got two boxes of cereal that are already on my cereal shelf. Perfectly in date. Um, they are honey bunches of oats, two different varieties and I got them for a couple of bucks a box. Which if you know the prices of cereals. That's actually a really good price. So I got those. Um, I also, oh wait, incoming. The hubby is uh, bringing some cereal my way. <laughs> it just marched across and it just marched across. Anyway, two perfectly, thank you dear, two perfectly good boxes of cereal for a good price. You know, they have some stuff that's like dented cans and stuff. The cans that they had were more dented than I'm comfortable with just purchasing. They were good prices though, and they didn't look like they were swollen or anything. I probably could have done it, but let's leave those for somebody who, you know, who needs them more than I do, you know what I'm saying? While there, I got a brand new hat with tags, and this originally, this has a Walmart tag on it, um, and it was $7.44, but I got it for $3.79. And it's super cute. I haven't even taken out the little paper in it yet. Um, it's a one size, and it does adjust, and it's rainbow. That's why I got it. Hello, rainbow. Okay. I uh, got myself another strawberries and cream conditioner because it was only $0.79. Cents. These are now at the Dollar Tree for or the Dollar Twenty Five Tree, so that's way bargain right there. Uh, if you take a lot of medications like the hubby and I each do, these are handy. Your little pill keepers for morning and night. Take them out. You know, you put your pills in there for the week. Buck ninety nine. That is a good price. Also, that is a Walmart brand. So they, a lot of their stuff it comes from Walmart. I don't know how they get it. I don't ask. But they have tons of stuff. You know, I'm kind of a junkie for paper and office supplies. <laughs> these were forty nine cents each. Buy one get one free. So I basically got these a quarter a piece. They're the composition books with like the poly covers, like a plastic cover. Not sure what I'm going to use it for yet, but you know, there you go. Oh yeah, in addition to the conditioner, I also got the strawberries and cream shampoo. Sometimes you just want to smell like strawberries and cream, okay? It's a thing. Got that. Oh, what I wanted to show you these. Oh my goodness. Now y'all know that I am all about using these little hair clips for yarn, right? these guys right here I can get them at the dollar 25 tree and you get two more that are on this card at the dollar 25 tree but these were 49 cents each so yeah I got 10 packs of them not all for me of course if you've winning giveaways or anything from me expect these in your giveaways to take your ball of yarn and just snap it closed so that you don't have your ball of yarn unwinded all over the place they are handy okay that's why I get those now also at that store I saw this. Oh, I would never have purchased this at any kind of a regular price. A, I don't drink enough soda, and B, I don't even know if I'm going to like it. This is the Mountain Dew Zero Sugar Spark. This 12 pack was $2.50. $2.50 for 12 cans of soda, of diet soda. So it's not full of sugar and stuff. So if I want a soda, I've got a soda. This is supposedly with a blast of raspberry lemonade. I don't know how that's going to be in a Mountain Dew, but I'll find out for that price. They had a bunch more there. I just, I picked up one because, you know, yeah, he's making a face. He doesn't like Mountain Dew at all. He doesn't care for lemonade either. So there you go. Okay. Now that was all of that store. I don't remember what my total bill was. The receipt is down there. I'm not going to bend over and get it because it really doesn't matter. you got the individual items. Now let's talk about Pop Shelf. You know I love Pop Shelf. Uh, they, for me, that is a relaxing, wonderful shopping trip to go there. I go in. The store is always clean. They have the prettiest display set up always. And I think that's a Pop Shelf thing. But at the store, it's just... 
you walk in and you you are greeted with a display of whatever seasonal thing they've done you know this week and it's so pretty and you think oh this is nice i'm gonna walk around they have little shopping carts and i just enjoy walking up and down all the aisles the store isn't too huge so if you're someone with some mobility limitations and you like to walk around a store but you don't want it to be a huge store that would probably do you know though this one isn't an old rite aid they redid it for a pop shelf now pop shelf is owned by the same people that own dollar general not dollar tree uh so you will see some of the same items in there but they have a lot more at pop shelf okay i got these they have these same exact things at the dollar 25 tree but here they were a buck save the corner and these also, these are awesome for holding things like stitch markers. And I use them all the time. And I also give them in giveaways when I have those um, to hold your stitch markers in. It's just, you could toss this in a notions bag and you're not losing them everywhere. I'm just saying. Uh, they did have a big clearance sale going on. So these ended up being 50 cents a piece for a pack. No, I need cookies like I need another hole in my head, but these will keep, and sometimes you just have to have a stinking snack, okay? A few cookies will do it very nicely. Also, feminine products, okay? Yes, it is a very small pack, but good to have in a backup. This was 50 cents. Y'all know how expensive this stuff is. Oh, and these... The other two are in there. I got two each of these because they were on clearance. You will probably see these in a hot taste. Duke's Hot and Spicy Smoked Shorty Sausages with Fresh Diced Serrano Peppers. And these, which are the Hatch Green Chili Smoked Shorty Sausages. That's hard to say. Smoked Shorty Sausages. Anyway, I've had these before. I have not had these before. Anything with hash green chili is delightful, um, but they had these buy one get one. They're normally five dollars a bag, but two fifty a bag, and each one is five ounce, so that's pretty good. And if you're gluten intolerant, these are gluten free. I got a couple of containers of these. The hubby loves garlic stuffed olives. These are olives, so they have like the pits taken out, and they have a clove of garlic shoved in them, and apparently they're quite yummy. Got him two jars of those. On clearance, of course. I got myself three of these. These were not on clearance. I just saw them on the candy aisle because apparently I'm, you know, eight years old or something. Look at this. Blue Raspberry Warhead Super Sour Spray Candy. I am looking so forward to having a blue tongue from this. It's going to be yummy. I got three of those. They were a buck a piece. They will last me quite a while because I won't go through a whole sprayer in one sitting. Technically, a whole sprayer is like one serving. No, I, I let it, I, you know, let it ride for a while, okay? Oh, I also got a couple of jars of rice vinegar, seasoned rice vinegar. Their regular price on these was $3 a jar, which I would not spend. <clears throat> Pardon me. <clears throat> but it was buy one, get one free. So they were a buck fifty, And that is a good price. That is better than Walmart's price for the seasoned rice vinegar. And I use rice vinegar a lot. <clears throat> oh, I got some soups too. I got two cans of each of these. These are the Bar Harbor um, condensed and semi-condensed soups respectively. Clam chowder and lobster bisque. Uh, these, no matter where you find them, are normally um, anywhere from 3 to $5 a can. These were half price, so I don't remember exactly how much they were. But, you know, this will be nice. And these are really good soups. Yummy. Yes, yummy indeed. What else do I have in here? Oh, that's lobster bisque. Ooh, baby corn on the cob. They were buy one, get one free. These are awesome in a stir fry. Roasted bell peppers. These are great on sandwiches. You make a sub sandwich or something, or something with salami or a smoked meat, put a couple of strips of these on there. These are very sweet. These are not hot by any shape of the imagination. Nothing but sweet peppers. They have these on sale too. Seriously, if you have a pop shelf, check them out. Let's see, what else did I get? Oh, I got two containers of um, unsweetened almond milk. We've been buying almond milk lately instead of regular milk because it keeps longer in the fridge and we don't go through a lot of milk in the house and it tastes really good. It's fine for cereals and stuff like that. 
So I figure just in case we don't have any at all and we need some, you don't have to run to the store. You can open one of these and stick it in the fridge. There you go. And they were on sale. They were a buck a, a thing. Also, some non-food items. I think I have... Well, there might be a little more food in that one. Oh my goodness, these are heavy. You know pads of paper to make cards and paper craft from and stuff? You ever go to like Michael's or something and buy some of those and how expensive they are? Okay, well they have them at Pop Shelf too. This one is 36 sheets. There are some gold foiled. They're pretty patterns. They are single-sided, not double-sided, uh, which has its pros and cons. This was $5. Look at that. Such pretty papers, right? This one is called Sunny Days. They had three different varieties in these big ones, 12 by 12. This one is called Chasing Adventures. Super cute. And this one is definitely fall coming up. This one is called Warm and Cozy. If that doesn't scream fall, I don't know what does. Love it. $5 a piece. Ugh, yes, they're heavy. It's, it's decent heavy paper. It's going back in this bag for right this second. Now, there might be some other stuff in here that I missed a little bit, but the rest of this is going to be hard to get out because it's awkward. When they have stuff that sits around for a while, it get, gets marked down, okay? This is a decorative, short of a stacker system, wire system to stack stuff in. Not intended for direct food contact. Keep away from flame. You know, don't don't set this in the fire, okay? This is for decor. It is for decor. It is marked $5. You would normally see this also at Dollar General for $5. However, this was from their last group of stuff they had. It was marked 90% off. 50 cent. Yeah, 50 cents. Half a dollar for that. Awesome. That is a really cute decor piece. Was that the only thing that I got? Of course not. Y'all know me better than that. This also was originally $5. It's a hanger that says relax. And it's got the holes in it where you can use nails or screws or whatever to hang it up. Or if you really wanted to, you could do strings or something in there and hang it from a single point up here, you know. Um, I got it bent a little bit. It is metal. Um, these hangers are pretty stout the letters are you know not so stout because you're not meant to do anything with them but look at them okay this also ended up being 50 cents it was 90 percent off five dollars y'all know i love a deal love a deal stay okay and finally i got two of these let me set one up here this is a cute little decor shelf look at this and i managed to mess up the corners on this one it wasn't messed up when i got it but i think i dropped this one but it's no big deal it's a little shelf, you set it there, you put it up on the wall for some decor, okay, or something little, maybe a couple of tea lights just to look at. Um, this was $5, I got it for 50 cents. And I got two of these. So, yeah, my pop shelf visit was a great bit of fun. I went in there to walk around and just enjoy the look about because I do enjoy that. But I came out with a bunch of stuff. And i got to show you something else I got. I just found on the bottom of this bag. Now, I'm a kind of an office supply hoarder. Yes, I love office supplies. Especially, and I love cute little things. Look at this. Look at this little stapler. And the colorful staples. Ah! I want to staple things now. Do I have staplers in the house already? Yes. Do I have one that's this cute? Well, now I do, but I didn't before. And this was three bucks, it was not on sale. But it was super cute. I had to have it. Because the staples, look at those, oh my gosh. Okay, so what did I spend at this store? This one I'll tell you, because I didn't tell you. <laughs> this is my receipt. One thing about Pop Shelf, you gotta remember, it is completely self-checked there. So you do have to you know, ring stuff yourself and, and keep up with it. Um, my entire bill there, and I have two enormous bags full of stuff, that was $75.54. 
Yeah. It would have been, had I purchased all of those things, it probably would have been close to $150, but I wouldn't have bought those things if they weren't on such sale. So this is going back and actually keeping this out so it can be scanned. I have all these canned goods to put away. Oh my gosh. But it's my lunch hour. So I am going to eat some lunch and then I'm going to go back to work. And you will see this at some point this week. Just telling you. Thank you so much for checking out my big old haul. Yes, it's a haul, y'all. And um, look at my playlist of hauls. I do have a lot of shopping hauls and playlists and stuff. I will also have some happy mail coming up this week and more. Always more. Always more. Thank you, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.